Hi, this is your Sapnil Bharti and we are here at Cube Cannon Cloud Native Con in London and we have with us once again Alex Kirkop, Chief Architect at Akamai. I'd like to have you back on the show. Yes, it's been a fantastic show. Thank you for having me again. It's my pleasure. Talk a bit about how has been the show for you so far from the lens of open source. It's It's been exciting. KubeCons are always exciting. This I've, I've been to almost every KubeCon since 2016. Um, and it's just amazing to see the continued growth, but also the continued innovation. And now as we, um, you know, as we get to the 10th year of the CNCF, also looking at how we man manage the projects and how we manage the ecosystem in a way that keeps those projects healthy and, how and sustainable. Because it's not just about, um, you know, it's not just about the crazy levels of innovation, although that's super exciting too, but it's also, it's also about all of the production systems that are now in, depending on all of these projects in the ecosystem too. And uh, one thing more that I've been, just like you, I've been also at any KubeCon from the very early days and other Linux Foundation events also. And what I also love to see while I'll see the old names, it's also good to see names like Akamai and the way your presence is growing at the event, Diamond, Gold, Platinum, Sponsorship. Let's so also talk a bit about Akamai's engagement and role in the CNCF and Linux Foundation ecosystem. So, so Akamai contributes to a number of different projects in the ecosystem and we also contribute to the Linux kernel. Um, most recently, uh, we announced our um, sponsorship of the CNCF with a number with, with over a million dollars worth of credits um, that the CNCF can use for to provide resources for the projects that, that need them. And this can be, you know, anything from uh resources for their git repositories and things like that and git runners all the way to you know test environments and and certification clusters which um which which you know power the the project's life cycle um so we're, we're you know very privileged to be able to help in that in that space um also recently i uh was elected into the technical oversight committee um, this is sort of a huge honor and kind of a very humbling experience for me. Um, it's, it's, um, it's, it's, it's on the back of, you know, many years of working and contributing with the CNCF. Um, and it's sort of, uh, very humbling to be sort of standing on the shoulders of giants here. Um, and the TOC does a lot of important work, you know, both in terms of the vision of the CNCF. Uh, and managing the the projects that join the CNCF and and the, and once they've joined and managing their health, um, so I think I think we're we're I you know it's it's a very it, it being part of the TOC also adds a very different lens for myself when it, coming to KubeCon now too. We discover you know uh, we we work a lot more closely now with projects um and i certainly have a lot more exposure uh to uh to the workings and to the strategy of what we're doing with our end user tab for example and also um some of the some of the larger projects as well as some of the smaller projects which are going through the sandbox process at the moment can you also talk about some of the announcements that Akamai made at this event, where you can see it will have some echo within the open source communities as well? We are building on a number of different uh, open source products and projects in our in the cloud native ecosystem. So in the last KubeCon, we announced the application platform. Uh, in this KubeCon, we also announced um, our LKE Enterprise, which is the Linode Kubernetes engine, which is our managed Kubernetes service. And further on top of that, we're using the app platform as a basis to build a number of different reference architectures for things like um, inferencing workloads and other machine learning workloads and also uh, ML workflows. Since you are here now at Akamai, can you also talk about what kind of culture, developer culture is within Akamai? Because people don't know a lot about that. In a way, for the KubeCon or Kubernetes ecosystem, Akamai is a new player, though Akamai is not a new player in the tech ecosystem. So talk about the internal culture to breed open source, to collaborate, to contribute to the open source. What are you folks doing to build that culture within Akamai? 
I mean, Akamai has had a long history in, in open source and has, you know, contributed to uh, networking standards um, and, um, uh, and to the Linux kernel for a very long time. Over the last three years, we've been building out our cloud business and our cloud services. Um, and that was that was based off the, you know, on uh, the Linux foundations and cloud native foundations. So now it's probably fair to say that in the in the cloud engineering space we have a dependency on so many projects in the cloud native ecosystem, which means that we actively work with all of those projects. We contribute to to those projects. In some cases, we work with the projects. Um, and it's it's basically just part of our foundation now, so it's 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 embedded in our culture. Can you also talk about uh, how is Akamai contributing to the open source ecosystem? So, so Akamai is contributing in a number of different ways, both in terms of the work we're doing with projects in in some cases and with uh, the Linux kernel, but we're also uh, contributing a uh, million dollars of credits um, every year to the CNCF. And this is effectively administered then by the CNCF to provide resources on Akamai's cloud for all the projects in the CNCF that need, say, testing resources or other resources uh, uh, related to their software development life cycles. Um, and this means, you know, it's 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 a little way, it's our little way of giving back, you know, because at the end of the day, all of the projects need support and all of the projects need help. Um, you know, there are lots of volunteers and lots of maintainers which are providing uh, huge amounts of their time and on a voluntary basis often. And, you know, it's it's nice to be able to give back to the community and, and, and help in the ways we can. And as you earlier mentioned, that contribution of Linux kernel. Can you also talk about what is the importance of supporting the the, the Linux kernel, you know, community and the Linux kernel .org? Right. We're extremely happy to be able to help the uh, the Linux Foundation with the kernel.org uh, site, providing it a home in the Akamai infrastructure. So um, as of uh, as of last week. Uh, kernel.org has moved um, onto the Akamai uh, hosting infrastructure. So all of the Git repos and, and all of those um, uh, important uh, infrastructure components, which effectively power, you know, all of the developers that are working with the Linux code base, as well as, you know, providing the content for all of the uh, the images and the mirrors um, in in the in the Linux kernel.org uh, website, you know, and Linux is such a critical component for everything in our world. You know, billions of phones and all the data centers, all the finance organization, all the supercomputers, all the research systems are based on Linux, and so. It's it's so important to make sure that that is sitting on a nice, robust system, and it's it's humbling to kind of give back a little and and provide uh, provide that support for the kernel.org environment. Alex, once again, thank you so much for joining me, and you know it's really uh, good to see the way Akamai is supporting open source community, whether it's Kubernetes all the way to Linux. Uh, kernel.org. Uh, thanks for bringing those stories out. And I would, as usual, love to have you back on the show. Thank you. Thanks, Swapnil. It's always great to be here.